Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about uh, what is uh, essential for us for firewood up here. Now, it seems pretty basic for a lot of people, but if you're just starting to move to the country and thinking about, hey, uh, I might want to do some of my own firewood, uh, we're going to talk about some of the real basic stuff that you might want to have. And uh, of course, you can always go way bigger and way more. But I'm just going to show you what we use here. It's homeowner grade. Uh, this isn't professional. We do our own firewood for our own house. Uh, so we don't sell it. Um, if somebody's in need and we have enough, we can give that away. Uh, so let's uh, show you what we got here. So to start with, you need a source of logs. If you've got your own trees on your property, great. But I've done that for the last two years. And boy, is that a time commitment. When they're all stacked up like this in one spot, it makes short work of it. Um, it's super easy to get through a cord or two at a time. You know, uh, at, on an 80 degree day like it is today, you don't want to be out here killing yourself. So you do a little bit and then you, you just save the rest for the next day. This is about a seven to eight cord load and we burn somewhere between three and four cord a year here, and I'm trying to get two years ahead. So when this is all processed, I'm just gonna get another load of logs. Okay guys, so uh, this is, like I said, this is homeowner grade stuff. This is a Husqvarna 455 Rancher. Uh, I am not a brand loyal to anything. My Reasoning behind buying this is this dealer is a, a dealer that's down the road for me about six miles He's been in business for 40 years and his father was in business before that Super nice guy to work with Goes out of his way to get you back up and running if you need any service And to me that's more important than what color the saw is um, This starts without fail any time when we bought this property uh, four years ago this was my first purchase so that I could cut in the driveway. Uh, and it's done a great job. Um, so I, I would suggest that if you're new to any of this, you think about that first rather than the color of your saw. Choosing a dealer that is gonna be convenient for you and uh, you can uh, count on them to get you back up and running if you need that repair. Um, I also am a big advocate of wearing a helmet. Uh, this helmet has earmuffs on it. Um, now, I know a lot of guys don't think you need the screen or glasses or what have you, but um, I have firsthand experience with a, a gentleman who uh, wasn't wearing one of these and this chain broke. And it came right up the front of his face. And uh, yeah, he, he's okay today, but boy, is he scarred up. So uh, if you can minimize that risk, I think that's a good idea. Um, you, if you're doing small quantities like I'm going to be doing here, I have a one-gallon gas can. Uh, you don't need a big gas can. These uh, don't hold that much, and you'll need the, the two-stroke oil for it. Um, Husqvarna sells their own, but you don't really need to use a brand-specific um, oil. So... You just mix them together and you're good to go. You're always going to need some bar oil. Again, you don't need a brand specific. Um, and if uh, you get to the point where you're, you're thinking that uh, you're going to be doing this every year, every couple of years, um, I've got a few other um, gadgets over here that I like to have on hand. Um, so this is a, um, easy to turn a log this way. Um, it also comes with an attachment um, that puts a foot on it so you can lift the log right up off the ground. I haven't used that. Um, I haven't found a need for it as long as you can uh, get through most of the log. If you need to turn it, then you just turn it. It's super easy. This is a, a log right cant. And then most recently, uh, I've gotten um, this log right hookaroon. And uh, this has worked out good for, uh, for a couple things so far, just getting... Uh, the logs down and for moving the rounds out of the way once once it's down. 
So uh, uh, that is what I use to get everything bucked up. All right, so now you got to make splits out of it. And uh, the way we do it here is with the county line 25 ton log splitter. Uh, this was the second purchase that I made when we moved to this property. Um, and it's been great. I'm getting ready to do uh, a service on it here shortly. Um, but uh, you certainly don't need anything like this if you're only doing a little bit of firewood each year for yourself. And I know many people who will split that whole log pile with a ball and uh, a wedge, um, but that's not me. Uh, I'm not getting any younger and I'm not going to beat myself up like that anymore. Uh, for a basic homeowner log splitter, this is a pretty great log splitter. Um, it's quicker cycle time than some, and uh, I think it's around maybe 11, maybe. I'm not really sure. Um, all I know is it's, uh, it's worked fairly flawlessly uh, for the last three years, and uh, I would suggest that uh, rather than going out and pretending that you need this big monster log splitter, start with the basics and uh, see how it goes. Uh, you may not like doing this at all, but for me, um, this this type of activity is kind of like my gym activity as far as clearing my mind. Uh, I don't mind this at all. I come out here and I, I just give, don't have to really focus on anything other than being safe. Um, it just puts me in a different state of mind. I, don't mind splitting firewood at all. All right, I make all my uh, pieces right around 16 inches. And I just kind of came up with this little chocolate system I got going on here. So when I said I had the basic homeowner saw, I have an 18 inch bar. So that log there, depending on where you're looking at it from, is close to 18 inches. And the saw does just fine. We're not trying to break any speed records here and we're not doing this to make money. But it does just fine. Would it be awesome if it went quicker and faster? Sure it would. But if you're just getting into it, don't get all caught up in all the other channels out there that are constantly buying and trying new saws. Get an entry level saw and go from there. So there you have it guys. Basic firewood tools. And then it works perfectly fine for a homeowner like me. Now, would it be great to have uh, uh, a built right or a uh, um, Easton made or something like that? Sure, it would be, but I don't justify that here. So it's really cool to watch everybody else using them. And uh, maybe someday I'll expand to that. But right now, this is a hobby, if you will. It's a pretty hard hobby, but it's a fun hobby. And some. In some ways, this is how I get my relaxation in. Uh, it's, maybe it's crazy to, for people to think that, hey, how is that enjoyable? But uh, it still is, believe it or not. So uh, um, take it for what it's worth. In any case, I appreciate you guys sticking around. And uh, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And until next time, we'll see you later.